having serious trouble with marauders lately. I want you to take a vehicle and hunt down their warrior patrols. Go and make war your own. Every single drop of war you got. Every single drop of war you got. Every single bit of war you have. Every single bit of war you have. Every single drop of war you got. Every single drop of war you got. Sup guys, it's KG Sonic, and I'm back with some more Jack and Daxter action. I know it's been quite a while, but after some heavy duty missions in this city, I'm on the way back to Spargus with some new missions there, so let's see what they are. Turning the sand. Scanner show a few new artifact sightings. You two up for some rough riding? Sure. I can race with the best of them. Good. Take the vehicle and bring us back some booty. You know the drill. Get to the artifacts first and they're yours to claim. Wastelander right. Go get them! Yep. Another scavenger hunt for the artifacts here in the wasteland. Same as before. Grab the artifacts in time before the time. Well, grab the artifacts before the time runs out, of course. And not be destroyed by these marauders. And avoiding any other shenanigans when it comes to physics. And you should be straight. Now, considering the fact that this is longer than the first mission of this type earlier in the game it's a little harder and considering the fact that okay here it is and sometimes considering the fact that these physics can also mess you up too this can also give you a hard time but it ain't so bad honestly At least, wow. At least you're actually using the sand shark compared to the tough puppy like you did in the first. Yo, what? Yo, are you kidding me? Bro. You got you guys see what I'm talking about? Oh my god, you can't be serious. You guys see what I'm talking about? I legit had nothing to do with that. The freaking water freaking kamikaze into me and I couldn't even do anything about that. Now I get it. Of course, if the Mawaras weren't there, it'd just be boring and of course the mission would be too easy. Easy, wow easy I meant to say but come on man really okay I'm gonna be quiet for a bit so I can concentrate with this so I'll see you guys after I'm done with this
that should be the last artifact. Yep, received the hollow cube. Now I just gotta make it back into the city. Wow. Well then. Just like old school. But now I think I'm gonna do that mission later and go to Damus' palace. So I'll see you guys when I get there. Keeping people alive out here, keeping them full of hope, it can be daunting. I'd say you've made a good life here. You too must make a life, Jack. Take your destiny into your own hands. Look, sand cannot keep a shape by itself, but add water, and it becomes malleable. Fate can be such if you add the right element. Eco. <laughs> Our minds think alike. My monks say the world is coming to an end, but I am a survivor. I say we live on long after this world dies. Be ready. You are shaping up to be one of my finest warriors, and I'll need you for the trials ahead. I mustn't lose you. Like I lost my son. You had a child? Long ago. But much has been sacrificed in this war so that others could live. Anyway, it matters not. We're having serious trouble with marauders lately. I want you to take a vehicle and hunt down their warrior patrols. Go and make war your own. More developing on the bond from Jack and Damus. But now, I'm gonna do that mission, so I'll see you guys when I get to that garage area. I'm gonna use the shan Sans Shark for this one again. Now back to what I was saying, in that cutscene, did you see how they're gonna developing... Okay, 13. The bomb that Jack and Damus have, kinda like a... Well, I'm not gonna spoil it, but it's kinda like one of them um, mentors do kind of type of things initially at first although that sun thing ain't far from the truth you're gonna see what I mean later on in the game don't want to spoil it for those that don't know but the ones that know you already know what the deal is now onto the mission the what in the world was that noise that was strange but like I was gonna say the whole purpose of the mission is to destroy these big vehicles. On the mini-map, it's the ones with the, all the red circles. These things. I'd also destroy the orange circles, the marauder vehicles that are wrapped in flames. Because their whole purpose is to destroy the gate, I believe. Yeah, these things, I've destroyed these too. You can also get turbos from both vehicles, well, both the big vehicles and these guys. Yeah, normally they would just crash into the gate and make the gate lose its barrier. And if the barrier goes down, then the mission fails and you gotta start all over. But the mission's fairly easy. So I wouldn't worry too much unless you don't have good reaction times or something. I don't know. I'd also avoid that too, that little, um, okay, got the beam generator. Yeah, I'd avoid that flaming thing they got on the back of the vehicles too, so. Oh boy, this mission. Let's get it over with. Over here in the stronghold. Which honestly looks like something I'd see in Gladiator. I like how these vehicles show up out of nowhere all of a sudden. 
this mission is kind of like a arena fight outside of the arena. Oh yeah, here's what the needle the needle laser does that I got from the last episode. Helping Jinx blow the charges. Well, lay the charges for the, the um the sh the shield and stuff. I mean not the shield, the barrier. But that's what the needle laser does. Now because I, I don't really have time to deal with these marauders right now and move around and stuff, I'm just gonna use the beam reflexor and just pick up ammo while I'm at it. As as you saw, I literally went from like 60 to 30 enemies that quick. That's how broken this beam reflexor is. Like any area you walk into with this beam reflexor, it's literally a death trap with this gun. See? They can't even land in the place because of this gun. Now I avoid the flaming missiles, missiles too and stuff because they can leave smaller explosions or wisps of fire and they can damage you too. You gotta catch them, Jack. Now here's where the annoyance, annoying part comes in. Because now you have to catch these marauders. One of them has the artifact. But you can't just shoot them all one like one at a time. I mean you gotta shoot them one at a time to find the last one, which actually has the artifact, but either one could have had the artifact and you could have just shot one and that'd be that, but that'd be too easy, so. Now of course you gotta catch every single marauder before the time runs out. Luckily. Oh wow. Oh my goodness, Daxter. I almost got them water with that one shot, too. But like I was saying, was luckily, at least the Dune Hopper allows you to make use that super jump to its advantage. Well, to your advantage. To avoid the other Marauders that are preventing you from. Preventing you from shooting these main marauders to get the artifacts, so. That's pretty much. And I wouldn't use the super jump to abuse the super jump to that point, too. Because you can easily destroy, destroy the vehicle doing that, too, so. I'd watch when you're super jumping. Wow. <sighs> you see how these marauders can be so annoying within this part of the mission? Oh, Eddie's too far away. I'm going to fail this too. Oh, great. Just great. Oh wow, that was a good shot. One thing I'll I need to mention is that if you fail this mission, or this part of the mission, luckily you don't have to start the whole fight with the 60 Marauders all over again, but if you do fail, you gotta catch all four Marauders, I believe, all over again, so... There's that. Now luckily, when you get to the last Marauder, it's not timed. And there you go. This is the uh, what was it? Work, hero. The prison. I mean, Jack, and you two are lightning. We are grateful for your help. It is possible I may have misjudged you two. That artifact is called the Precursor Prism. It will be of use to you. Please keep it as a sign of our gratitude. Oh, too proud to admit it, team. But yeah, anyway, yeah, that mission could be too much of an annoyance, especially that second part with the Marauder chase. But it ain't so bad; it's just tedious. But now I'm gonna do the mission with from Sig earlier. So let's go. There you are. I was beginning to think you chickened out. 
I saw an eco-crystal in this place, and it's yours if you want it. Trouble is, metalheads have been spotted here in mass. Let's go give them a big surprise. Be funny if it, the actual surprise was like a metalhead that came out the cave and just to try to attack all of a sudden. But here's part two of the cave mission with the metalheads. Coming right back in here. This time it's a little different. Instead of shooting, I think it was the pods from earlier in the episode, well earlier in this game. It's a little deja vu in a sense. Because these creatures you have to kill this time, according to Sig, to get this crystal. Well, the eco crystal, that is. Our metalhead centipedes, or metalpedes, I think they're called. If that sounds familiar. Yeah, see? If that sounds familiar, think of the metalhead centipede from Jack 2 in the Underboard. Self explanatory, just keep shooting these. Just make sure it doesn't deplete your health, car's health too much because it's gonna start shooting back at you the moment whenever it gets a chance. The second you encounter one, I drive around the cave because unless you shoot it shoot it to death, it's just gonna keep re reappearing in the same area of the cave you're in. So as soon as you counter it, I drive around the cave. It's not gonna warp to a different part of the cave. So you got that to think for it. And you gotta keep doing this in both sec in all sections of the cave. Let's get another one. Wow. Head start on me. I'd also recommend staying on the move too because of those I don't even know what those things are the big brain creatures on the ground that you constantly see they will also constantly attack your vehicle too so I stay on the move too now there wow now there are times where the metal heads centipede metal peeds whatever there are times where it shots will cause your vehicle to react in a weird way physics wise to where sometimes your car can just all of a sudden just get lifted as if someone like lifted it lifted it off the ground so there's that to worry about but it ain't too bad like I said the mission self explanatory you just gotta keep doing shooting every all five of these metal peas in this it's coming out of the ground. Even looking back at these creatures, that's kind of scary too when you look at it like that too. Just imagine like being there for real trying to attack these things. It's already a scary enough that you get... It's already bad enough you got you had one chasing you and like I said a jack two from the underboard. Okay, there we go. And got the light eco crystal. Go, go, go. Now it's time to leave the cave and get a cutscene once leaving. But yeah, that mission is pretty easy. Like I said, like I've been saying the whole time, all you gotta do is just go throughout the cave and just constantly stay on the move from these things. 
because they will also drain your card's health and just keep shooting the metal head, metal peas whenever they rise from the ground. And you should be good to go. But now I'm gonna see what Jack and Sig have in this cutscene. Yeah, baby! I love the smell of burnt metal, man. This is good practice for when the spit hits the van. And trust me, it's coming. What's Daimler's got to do with Haven City, Sig? None of your business. What was all that? What do you care, man? Haven folk are a bunch of weeples. You know that. They'd already lost the war before it started. But Daimler has a plan to make sure we all survive. You're playing with people's lives. Why not? They play with mine. Survival of the fittest, baby. I suggest you get with the program and be on the winning side. And which side is that? The one on top of the pile. Unfortunately, it's going to be a big pile. Yeah, a big pile of shit. I caught this. So now what? Just keep your nose clean and stay sharp. I'll tell you when the action's coming. Yep, Sig sounded too black right there in that scene. <laughs> I mean, obviously he is, but a little joke right there. But that, after that interesting cutscene, I'm thinking I'm gonna end it. Okay, that was weird. But yeah, after that little interesting cutscene, I'm thinking I'm gonna end it here. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to smash the like button, comment, and subscribe. For more, it's Kitchen Sonic, and I'm out. Peace, guys. <laughs>